Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome to Halloween day. Tonight is Halloween and I'm going to show you a final look. The look that was meant to be on Sunday but I simply just didn't get the chance to film. Uh, yes, my hair looks a bit crazy but as you can hopefully tell today I am transforming myself into a character from one of my favourite films, Avatar. Let's just get on. If you would like to know how to turn yourself into an avatar, just keep on watching. I did try this look out yesterday. All I used was face paint and my lids have creased. So what I'm going to do is just set the eyes with some shadow, but I will show you what I'm going to do once we get there. The face paints that I'm going to be using are all from Snazaroo. I've got Royal Blue, which is a lighter blue. I've got white that uh, kind of stained a little bit, cross-contaminated it. I have dark blue and I have a little bit of black. That's a lie. I'm also going to use a little bit of bright pink at the very end. All you need is blue and white, really. I'm going to start with my bright blue. I'm using my spray bottle to wetten this. I'm taking buffing brush from Real Techniques. I'm picking up the face paint on my brush and I'm going to start. I need all of my face to be covered. Leave my head out of the way. I'm going to finish on my double chin. I really don't want to do my whole body. Ta-da! I'm <laughs> And just a bit like with makeup, I'm now going to use white mixed with the blue to highlight my face. All over my nose, highlighted. And you will see why later. Going under my eyes, above my top lip, chin, and now I'm blending all of this in. I'm taking the dark blue to do my contour. I'm still using the same brush. I'm now going to take a flat brush and dip it in my white face paint. And I'm creating a line in the middle, quite a thick one. I'm still in the process of highlighting and now I want to blend this in with my brush. We basically need to widen our nose and the best way to do it is to add highlight to widen the nose and then contour it to make it look wide. I'm going to start widening my nose so I'm taking a big angled brush I'm dipping it into my dark blue face paint. What you want to do, you want to start on the side of your nose as if you were to contour your nose normally, but you want to create a line going into your inner corner. And then from your inner corner, up at an angle, kind of halfway through your brow. I know this looks crazy, don't worry, we'll all blend it in. And I'm going to take my flat brush and some white Go inside those lines. You want to cover your brows as well. I'm now going to take my big foundation brush and blend all of this in, especially around my eye. I'm now taking an angled brush and some black. I'm re-intensifying that line and I'm just taking the black and smearing it down a little bit to contour my nose further. I'm taking my white again 
and I need to highlight even more. I need to do my brows so I'm taking the dark blue shade and I'm filling them in. Make sure to only start filling them in from that line that you've created so don't fill the whole of your brow in. Yes there's a lot of back and forth going with this but the more details you put in the better it will look. Some white highlighting this area again. Okay, I'm finally ready to add my lines. So I'm taking the flat brush that had white on it, picking up some white, starting from the side of my face, drawing lines in. They seem to be going in a pattern. Not easy, as you can see. You can always take your face paints, try and fix it. If you've gone wrong, all you need to do is blend it in, start again. I'm taking this fluffy angled brush from Freedom and I'm dipping it in my white. I reckon it's going to be a little bit easier to do this pattern. I know it's very harsh right now, don't worry, we will blend this in. Symmetry is never easy, so do, do the best you can. I'm going to slightly tap this in. Now I'm going to take my dark blue and go in between. And guess what? I'm blending this in again. I'm picking up some of that dark blue on my foundation brush, blending the edge just slightly bit more. Dark blue again on my small angled brush. I'm mixing the dark blue with a little bit of black. I'm doing my face lines. And again, blending this in a little bit, especially on the outer perimeter. Because we've done these, I need to darken the beginnings of all of these. Just blending this in a little bit. Whew. There is a lot of elements into this. I need the sides of my nose to be more refined. And I'm also taking the dark blue to Put on my lid and of course I want some highlight. You know we need this 3D and because this will crease I'm going to take twerk from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and I'm setting my lid with this. You can't really see much because my eye is blue. I'm also going to take twerk on my lower lash line as well. Because I just love that colour, I'm going to take pool party to put into my inner corners. I'm also going to highlight my brow bone with this. I'm taking a small flat brush and my white and I need to do my little schnoz. 
So I'm creating as clean of a white line as I can on the tip of my nose, going from the edge of my right nostril to my left nostril, a little bit underneath as well. This is where I needed the pink. I'm taking the pink to put on the nose. Try not to mix it too much because it will turn purple. So I might even add one more layer. I'm adding white liner into my waterline. Oh, I hate doing this. I'm taking Anastasia Beverly Hills with Nicole Guerrero highlighter in Forever Lit to highlight my stripes, my nose. I'm even going to take a highlighting brush and highlight my cheekbones and apparently my whole under eye because I love the effect of what pool party did to this look I'm going to take it on a bigger brush and mix it in here as well I'm taking a liquid liner and I'm going to give myself a slight wing And because they essentially cut, I'm just going to extend my inner corner. Nothing as crazy as Catwoman last week. Just a tiny little bit. I'm going to add lashes off of camera and I will be right back to add the little freckles. I stuck my lashes on. I think I look super cute. We need to add the freckles or the little god knows what. And for that I'm going to be using my white face paint and Jeffree Star's liquid lipstick in Breakfast at Tiffany's. As always I'm using a dotting tool which is a nails tool to do my freckles. They kind of do go in a pattern. She has four on her chin. Those ones are pretty bright, so I might go over these particular ones with white face paint all over the place on the cheeks and under the eyes. Scrap that. Never mind. Don't use breakfast at Tiffany's. Can barely see it. I'm using my trusty white face paint. Some of them can be all over the place but some do kind of go in a pattern so I suggest you just pull up an image of Avatar if you type into Google Avatar you will be able to find shots from the movie and this is what's going to take the longest And that is it didn't actually take that long and that is it <laughs> Halloween is officially over well it's not over till tonight I hope you have enjoyed this look if you have an hour and a half spare tonight if you're going to a house party like myself tonight then designate an hour and a half to create this look I really really like it I think it looks pretty cool I'm quite happy with it make sure to let me know what you think of this look down in the comments below and I hope to see you next time enjoyed Halloween so so much I love Halloween it's probably my favorite time of year but I am ready to get back into foundation testing videos the cool one is coming next week winter and christmas themed looks i'm looking forward to it so so much and i hope you are too make sure to like comment subscribe and i hope to see you next time bye